Hello teacups, what's brewing? We've got a fair amount to get through today. <laughs> so fun story, I don't have a lot of time these days because I'm back at work. I was actually in building all this week. I am working from home all of next week, so I might have more time, but I don't know. But I cut a few minutes out of Grandma's at Angels and Super Productive Day last night, but was too tired to get the react done. I went to bed, I figured it'll be okay. It'll be okay, I'll do it first thing in the morning. I woke up to first time rotisserie chicken, get ready with me, live stream addict, and ugh, so over it, let's beat. In the time I have been sleeping. Oh God. So, a lot's gone on. Um, we've got this all cut down, as is my usual with these condensed milks. I'm going to put the clips I cut between my reacts rather than up in the corner during my reacts. It's just easier that way for me. However, some of these clips are longer. I do have particularly the uh, so let's over, uh, so over it, let's bees was four and a half hours long. So I have clip sections cut out. We have four or five um, condensed clip sections to do with different talking points. Uh, one of them particularly is quite long. It runs four or five minutes. Apologies, I'm doing what I can do. So let's start with grandmas are angels. Now I just wanna preface this with the fact that her grandma is passed while not unexpected is a really shitty situation. Um, she's, I don't think she's fully processed it at all, nor would I expect her to at this point. And I think we're in for some interesting times. I'll talk a bit more about it after we've seen the clips, but I will not be including any minute detail on uh, her death and, and some of the descriptors that Chantal put into her full live stream. I'm really just focusing more on the impact I believe it will have on Chantal moving forward rather than the event itself. Um, it's a difficult thing to talk about. It's a very gray area how far I would like to go with it, but I prefer to err on the side of caution and just be like, okay, she's put it out there, it's public, but a little respect for the dead. Yeah, so let's get into it and we'll keep talking then. Don't let it make me spiral. No. It makes me want to do the opposite. Like, in her honor, <laughs> you know. Makes me want to do the opposite. Because I know it would kill her to see otherwise. Yes. To not numb your feelings and let yourself feel them is so important. Uh, Liliana, I did have some edibles. Oh. Is that what you mean by numb them? Yeah, if I, if I didn't numb them, it would be so painful. I was like, I need to go home and numb the pain with beezing, uh, edibles, and pizza. So I ordered pizza. I couldn't wait to get home for my, like comfort measures you guys the edibles the food maybe it's not healthy but right now that's what i'm using Your poop. <laughs> yeah my cats oh my gosh my yes <laughs> except you've seen the same whoa what do you want me to do transform into a caterpillar transform into a butterfly i mean am i supposed to go through a metamorphosis or something Everybody grieves and mourns in like their own pro in their own way, you know. I'm just acting natural. I'm not gonna fake cry when I don't feel like crying. Sometimes I even wonder why I'm like, why am I not crying right now? Because <clears throat> maybe it's this time I feel like laughing. You know, life is up and down. Yeah, we're not having a funeral. She didn't want one. The family's getting, we have little urns coming. We ordered little urns. They're like really nice with like a little oop, butterfly on it. <laughs> and we're dividing the cremation uh, remains. Okay, so there's quite a lot in there and there is at the forefront a lot of people in a chat going, hey now, don't let this make you spiral. And that is the major concern here, I think for a lot of reasons. She was already mid-spiral right now before this even happened and she said herself that she doesn't have any experience of losing a loved one she's never lost anybody in this way so 
when I say I don't think she has the capabilities to cope with this, like, oh my goodness, I don't think she has them. She struggles to cope with general day-to-day -day issues that are only slightly challenging. And everybody, everybody would struggle with something like this. This is a huge uh, blow to anybody, even the most well-adjusted. It's the loss of a loved one and it, it's a permanent thing and it's going to have an impact and I'm not blaming her for that impact at all. And I do think we're gonna see her emotions going crazy over the next few days, more so than usual, uh, just because they're going to be at, at extremes and they're going to seem to come out at odd moments. And I don't think that's an unusual thing, especially considering that she, she doesn't have the most stable emotional state at, at her very best moment but it does concern me where this is all gonna go because we ask frequently well where's her rock bottom where's her rock bottom and she doesn't seem to have one which means she's just gonna keep going deeper and I don't know how much deeper she's got to go but she says that oh no it makes me want to do the opposite and we'll talk a bit more about that in the super productive day live uh, which seem to be supporting that in some ways. But I don't see her maintaining that. I hope it, that she would. But throughout all these live streams, a, an overwhelming thing you see is actually how little change there is. Now, this was over the course of a very short period of the time. It was a day. So to expect massive changes is perhaps unrealistic. But it just seems to be like, a blank nothing nothing is really going in so that might just be uh, the shock of it happening even though they knew even though they kind of expected that could just be down to shock but uh, she does mention sorry I'm just looking over some notes I made she does mention uh, that they're not gonna have a funeral now Grams didn't want one so definitely like respect her wishes but in terms of Chantel and how it's going to affect her long term, I wonder if having a funeral and however difficult they are to go through would have been better for her mental health in the long run. Because without a funeral, even though she's going to get an urn and man, she says she's going to keep it clean. She said she's, you know, in the pit her room tends to get, I have concerns whether it would be placed in a position of respect that I feel it deserves. Let's put it that way. But she hasn't done anything yet. I got no proof. I just got suspicions. She does say they're going to get these urns. And like I say, people process things differently. So I don't know how she'll react. That might be really comforting to her. Like with the picture downstairs, when she feels like a part of her grams is there, she might find that incredibly comforting. I hope she does. But I'm not going to derail this video with this because uh, it's a big story and it's... <laughs> It's kind of unpleasant to go through so I don't really want to go into it here but when my grandmother passed uh, we didn't find out for a couple of months and uh, she had been cremated and her ashes had been spread already and my poor grandfather had like a double burial plot for her that he obviously then never got to use and there was there was a whole thing surrounding her death and we ended up having a funeral for her a couple of months later when we found out without a body because we wanted everybody to have the closure because it was so abrupt death is an abrupt thing in most cases and it's a shocking thing in most cases but then to have no idea it happened and suddenly have that truth thrust upon you you need closure and I wonder having been in that situation and sort of knowing Chantel from what she presents I wonder how much this is going to impact her later because a lot of the big events we have seen in her life we haven't really seen her start to lose it until further down the line when these things really begin to fester and I was always so thankful to have had that ceremony even though it was a horribly difficult thing to go to and I wonder if she would have done better having something there because even though, like I said, they knew it was coming, it's just one day she was gone. And funerals are really more for the living than they are for the dead. And I think she could have benefited from it. 
Anyway, so that's grandmas are angels. That's as much as I'm willing to go into that portion of things. She will mention her grandmother and her feelings in these live streams coming. I will try and be respectful. Please do the same. It's a horrible thing. Um, moving on, this is actually in the same live stream, but it wasn't really to do with her grandma. It was about kind of upcoming things with her channel. And I just wanted it sort of separated from the grandma stuff. So I put it into clips here. Liliana, actually, I'm going to be starting on Sunday. The new schedule. Thank you for joining. Okay, I have a question. Do you think I will make any money on OnlyFans if I show my vagina? What? Don't give me the side eye. What do I have to show? <laughs> I show everything and do everything. But I know a lot of people who just do lingerie and make a lot of money. Yeah, but I don't know, like... What do you mean, do everything? Do you mean, like... Is there like a like blowjobs like like what is like? <laughs> Sorry, I'm only fan, so they do what? Some people have full on sex videos on only. So fan. it's like a porn site. By the way, do you want to help me with my time warps? Help out. Well, that would earn your rent half of the rent. <laughs> it's true. I don't know. Help me creatively with them, like be uh, an actor in them or. You know how you were the waiter, or, um, uh, you know, if I need you to stir a sauce or something? I don't know. <laughs> so, anyways. Can we do a cook with me? Oh, Lambo. Oh my god. You guys, wait till you see my schedule. I worked hard on it. I worked really hard on it. I worked really hard on it. Yes, 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 yes. I did a lot of it. I, I did, so, well, a chunk of it I finished at the hospital. So these talking points were rather oddly juxtapositioned in with the talk about the passing of grandma, which which did strike me as a little bit odd, but I'm not Chantelle and she is in some ways, I think really trying to maintain normality for herself. And so that might be part of it. Like I say, people grieve in different ways. Uh, but this goes along with a community post she put up, which I'll put up somewhere on the screen right now. Hi guys, I'm just letting you know that I will be back next week. Uh, she didn't actually wait that long, she just came straight back. I'm going to spend time with my family during this time. When I return, I will have a whole new schedule of content that I've been working on behind the scenes. Hope you enjoy. And she also had uh, the OnlyFans banner that she made. She just says this is hopefully soon. Since last time was a fail, I'll have some promo offers for signing up. This will be organized content. Her questions about OnlyFans seem odd because she was on OnlyFans. She knows exactly what kind of stuff they do on there. Uh, she weirdly doesn't seem up to date though. When she's saying, oh, so it's a porn site, she doesn't seem up to date with the new announcements by OnlyFans that they were removing some of their X-rated content. So a lot of people are kind of in limbo with OnlyFans right now. They don't know what's going on. It seems a poor time to get into the platform, particularly as she seems to want it to, to uh, share uncensored stories. Now, with them being stories rather than movies, I think maybe she'd still be fine on platform, but it doesn't show particular interest or research for what is essentially her business, which I realize is not a shocker to anyone, but it might be something with so many creators in limbo right now i it might be something i'd be like let's see what happens first but she wants more money and we talked before about how i think it's kind of a crappy thing to do to be like subscribe to my channel get barely anything but then i'm going to move over to another platform and make you pay there i don't think it's the best choice i don't think she has the work ethic to maintain two channels or to build a new audience and i don't necessarily with the changes in OnlyFans, thinks it Think it's a great idea for her right now but it's her channel it's her life it's her money it's her efforts so she gets to choose it i suppose personally i've always said i loved her um time warps i'd love to see just more structured content from her i'm very sick of the lives i'm not the only one she does seem to want to do lives concurrently to her pre-recorded content so she might want to go for like actual developed things like time warps rather than vlogs because vlogs um she's 
very much putting on the persona, but then we get the live stream next to it, we know exactly what's happening. So she really needs to choose one or the other. If she's gonna fake her life, she can't then have us go behind the curtain. But uh, she did mention Vlogtober at one point, and I'd love to see that again. I just, I want anything but lives at this point, anything but lives. So then we move on to Super Productive Day. Now this seemed to be very much stage one, Chantelle. Usually she'd go in longer cycles and this is how she started it. She's cleaning her house, she's doing her laundry, she's getting groceries for healthy meals and all that kind of stuff. So let's just look into a few clips here and we'll get into it. I'm gonna throw in a load of laundry. I've ordered groceries, I've ordered a lot of groceries. Just staples so that, <clears throat> you know, like I wanna cook. You know, after loss we, reali we really realize what we have and how lucky we are and what's a true support system. You're so right, KB. I guess I just feel like I spent a lot of time around death these past few days. I just wanna like just celebrate life right now and just be happy to be alive. Be happy that I can do laundry. Just be happy that, you know, so heartbroken and sad yesterday. I'm on a roll today, guys. <laughs> These were in the fridge since the first time Dom ever came to my house, ever. Okay, no mold. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I need a good meal, like a healthy meal. I haven't eaten healthy in a long time. I want to eat like a healthy, well, it's been like, I've been eating junk the past few days, you know? Not being at home and just like, I was gonna cook. Should we make a stir fry? I'm gonna weigh myself. Body weight is 341.8 pounds. So we're gonna make a rotisserie. I haven't never used the rotisserie. Let's see what they say here. These are recipes you can make in the kasori. We need an OnlyFans, we will. Very soon. I'll dress chips. These are for Pete's. Ruffles. Dill pickle. Dill pickle. Tostitos. I got these for myself. These are pretzel crisps for a snack with, I have some soda water downstairs. Pete's, I got him a couple Stouffer's lasagnas for when I won't be home. Milk, more milk. I didn't order this. Oh yeah, it's chicken. Whole halal chicken. Oh cool. Mint. Spinach, kale, do you guys like stir fried kale, garlic kale? I love it. I'm gonna have to test my blood. My Oh, I gotta do my INR today. I'm gonna do that now. Before they close, Ugh. more potatoes. Cause I'm gonna be cooking a lot. Ketchup chips. Spagatini, canola oil, eggs, three cans of tomato paste, can of crushed tomatoes, and a huge thing of baking soda. And then I got some household items, a new Egyptian towel. I have a shower curtain. I need a new shower curtain. I have some Febreze antibacterial. Lysol Simply Orange All-Purpose Cleaner. Mmm. Pumpkin Spice Glade Candle. Yes. Big thing of vinegar to clean with, actually. I'm feeling better today, Ariel, if I keep busy. Obviously, I think about it throughout the day. And yeah, it is hard for the family. We're, they're happy she's at peace, though, too. It's like bittersweet, you know, because she's been suffering. So very standard stuff for Chantal starting a new life. It does seem to support what she said about not spiraling. I would really love the best thing that could come out of the passing of her gran would be her realizing that 
this could be a springboard to have a better life, her being motivated by the loss. I don't think that's the direction she's going in, but that's very much the direction she was trying to show with the super productive day. Hey, I'm gonna be better because aren't I lucky to have the chance to be? And I would love that for her, I would. We got a grocery haul, we got her doing laundry, and just just doing the thing. And it, it never lasts is the thing, it just never lasts. And it's such a shame because she's actually right. This This is incredibly lucky. She has so many opportunities that a lot of people don't get to have. And this is what she does with it, which is such a shame. Can I just say that those pots, ooh, guys, the first time Dom ever came to the house, so what, three months ago now, she's had a pot of rice sitting in her fridge, molding for three months. Oh no, absolutely not. And that also explains like, she was never big on cooking, but she used to do it sometimes. Oh, my voice is getting very squeaky. Sorry, guys. She did used to cook more often in between all the junk she used to eat. And actually one of her problems was usually that she'd have perfectly fine meals, then eat three days worth of calories on top of them. We hadn't been seeing that much recently. And it makes sense if her all her pans at the moment have been stuck in the fridge for the last two, three months full of old food. She's got nothing to cook with. But that's all there really was in the super productive day. It was this very much big energy of new start, fresh me, gonna be great. And then um, she put the chicken into the kasari and she was like, I'm gonna go for a nap and we'll come back to the chicken. She slept for about four hours and then we got the first time rotisserie. I lost it on somebody earlier that I was talking to, like somebody close to me. I like lost it over something like really weird. I feel a lot better today. I feel, like I said, at peace more. What was I gonna, oh, hi and This is tricky, this one. So I have to check, for those of you who don't know, my blood is called INR. Check this level of thickness in my blood. Because I've had blood clots, I have to be on blood thinners to prevent further blood clots in my lungs. If you are not on blood thinners, normally the blood is a level of um, 1.0. Insert strip. These strips are 10 bucks each. $10 each strip. Expensive. Okay, and then I go like that on the side of the blood. 1.6. That's below the target range of 2.0, so I have to call them, let them know that I have to up my blood. Might be because of something I've been eating. It might be because of the marijuana. It might be because, I have no idea. So I have to call them and let them know. I'm not playing Russian roulette with my health. That's how it is. Sometimes it's below, sometimes it's up. So if it's below, I just tell them they up my uh, medication a bit and then I test next the next week. Well, actually, yeah, I have been playing Russian roulette with my health, actually. I'm not going to say no. I have been. I haven't been the most... Uh... My sugar has been kind of bad since I've been off of the Ozempic. So that's why I need to talk to my doctor. I think I'm going to ask my doctor about the mushrooms. What do you think? I'm going to ask her about cannabis, what she thinks about it. Because I've never asked her really, like, what she thought about mushroom, like, the microdosing and stuff. My sugar doesn't get, like, super, super high. Actually, I feel periods of nausea. I'm not sure if that's from being too hungry. I think it's from being hungry and not eating. And then I eat and I feel okay. So I'm going to let this sit. Like that, upside down. All the juices, oh, oh, that's a nice bird. Isn't that beautiful? You love this positive change? You guys see a positive change? That's good. Two lines in that pizza. Have fun. Not for me. Been clean for two months, over two months now. A lot of the first time rotisserie, although she shows the chicken and she eats her chicken, rice and vegetables, which is the perfectly reasonable meal, 
Uh, a lot of the focus is on her health and I suppose the lack of focus she's had on her health. She does take her INR because it's got to go to the doctor and she says, okay, I have to call them because it's not hitting the target, but they're not open right now. I'm not sure what time it was when she was doing this um, or even what day it was when she was doing this. If today's Friday, they should have been open, but I, it might have been middle of the night for all I know. What do I know about her schedule other than the fact that it's awful? So she does, again, it's sort of a continuation of the productive stream where she's like, no, I'm taking my health seriously. I'm going to talk to my doctor. Slips out that she has never spoken to a doctor about the marijuana. I feel like at some point, like I didn't believe her, but I feel like at some point she had a conversation where she was like, my doctor knows. And then she admitted, no, my doctor doesn't. And then I was under the impression at some point she had mentioned it, but, but not gone further with it. I'm not sure her I was gonna say her timeline, but her um, her levels of truth go back and forth so much, it's really hard to tell. I guess the doctor doesn't know anything about it at all, which given that she likes to tout it as, oh, it's medicine. And we're like, okay, so go see a fucking doctor. Apparently she's gonna go see a fucking doctor. I'll believe it when I see it. I think any doctor would be horrified at not necessarily her using marijuana, because I think that there's an argument for that, even for the purposes she's saying for anxiety. But the amount she uses, if she's honest, I don't think any doctor would okay that. So I'd be interested in her having a conversation. But right now we're seeing a lot of intent and there hasn't been time for any follow through and follow through tends to be where she falls down. So I hope she calls the clinic. I'm betting someone's going to be like, hey, did you call? And she's going to be like, no, not yet. I'll do it soon. Um, but it's the same with the psychiatrist. It's the same with talking to the doctor. It's the same with everything. The intention's there for the moment, and I don't think it's going to happen. So that's all there really was in this. And uh, let's get on to the next one. The next one was live stream addict. Now, I haven't spent a lot of time on this, and we will explain why after. Honestly, I'm a bit scared at this point. So I'm gonna tell you what happened, and you tell me what you think. Like, I'm scared for myself. I was talking on like face-to-face -face with, with a family member, and whenever they were like talking, so like a big shadow, like I saw a big shadow behind them. And I was like, and I freaked out. I was like, there's a shadow. I was like, who is that? And like, I don't know what came over me. Like, I can't explain it. But I like, ugh, I don't know. I didn't feel like myself. So then, you know, they were like, what? Like, there's nothing, you know? Like, anyway, so that was really creepy. And then just now I went to drive <clears throat> to my friends and I couldn't remember how to get there so I came home like I remember now when everything but like I was like freaking out like what the hell like I didn't really know where I was um so I'm just like I'm, I just feel really weird I just feel weird no I'm not on drugs that's the thing obviously I was driving like this happened like it wasn't just when I was driving something weird happened like earlier too I don't know if it's because of the amount of edibles I've been doing like high high dose um because sometimes high high doses like anything over like they say you shouldn't take anything over like 10 milligrams and they can affect your memory and everything. No, Brooke, there's nothing else going on. Weed can cause psychosis. No, it's like, seriously, I feel like... Now, I don't know if it's that, if it's a mixture of just, like, grief. Like, I think I'm, like, messed up. So before any of you get very concerned for her because that's really what this live stream was it was guys i'm frightened and i need your support and these things are happening to me and i th i think i think i'm just i'm messed up that this is what the grief is doing to me and all of those things would have been entirely valid entirely valid 
but having gone through this horrific trauma she's just gone through of losing her gran except in the next live stream she 100 percent admitted that it was a lie excuse you when you're sitting there saying well i'm not gonna fake cry i'm just gonna be what i naturally am what you naturally are is an emotional vampire what you naturally are is a professional victim what the hell are you doing coming onto a live stream and worrying your audience like that in a bid for sympathy i was already sympathetic i think it's a horrible thing this is not helping her because having put people into a position this is what happens with the audience when there are times when you're actually genuinely upset on her behalf she then comes and does things like this this did not happen in the way she's describing and um, i didn't put a lot of time into this one she's saying oh i messed up she is messed up but in ways entirely different than the one she's trying to admit to here and we're going to go into the uh so it's over let's be stream and we will see what the real story actually was now this stream right here i've got i want to say four or five clips uh, like clip shows in together so it's going to take a little while but there was a lot of it so we're going to move on there i'm not okay i'm not okay i'm not okay that feels good to say actually yes i'm all right i'm all right now oh the drama i just went through and you all don't know anything about it I can't tell you either, but just know that it is concluded and I feel victorious. If it really is concluded, Gran will be proud. Oh yes, it is. I just realized like my extra anxiety and everything, my mood changes when I go to be with him and not in a good way. I just want to say, I don't want to scare you guys. But I need your help that if I know that you guys know my address, you don't have to send, don't, don't, please don't call the cops or anything, please. Let's just bees. But if I ever I want to give a sign, if I ever give a sign, that please, please, please call, okay? Is that without be scaring you? A uh, safe word. What should it be though? Because I don't want to accidentally say it one day. That's the problem. Has to be something we will not accidentally do because calling authorities when they're not needed is very serious. Please, please respect it. I'll do anything. Just respect that. Lavender sage paper clips. Should that be the word? Because I don't use paper clips very often. <laughs> okay, paper clips. So if I ever yell paper clips, you know why. Or if I just, I don't know, you, you know what I mean? Why am I laughing? Because I, you know what I said in my last stream, friggin' high on, I'm not afraid of anybody. I'm just saying if ever, I don't think anyone would do anything, but you never know. Okay, I'll say it three times. Paper clips, paper clips, paper clips. Yeah, okay. So if I need to, yes. Nobody's threatening me, I'm just saying just, I don't know, I have like a precaution, you know? I kind of just left him in the street, like in a shady part of town, because I think he's lying to me. And I, and I can't drive now, I, you know? He was supposed to get a ride to my house. This first part, this safe word section of her live stream. Holy damn, are you kidding me? Yes, it's 100% her baiting her audience, but at the same time, she reveals a lot in this live stream and I'm just like, fuck's sake. Hey, do you know it's not a normal relationship thing to sit there and go, hey guys, let's, let's think of a word just in case I'm ever in so much trouble, you need to call the police. Honey, call the police yourself. Get down to that station, report what's happening because this is fucking ridiculous. Absolutely. This is an acute thing you do with your members. It's not me calling everybody teacups. This is not something that should be on live stream. This is something that should be with you and professionals. This is something you should be down in that police station reporting that you are scared and you are worried and these are the things that are going on. What the fuck? That's all I could think during this whole set of conversations. What the fuck are you doing? Excuse you, what are you doing?
Now she does go more into Dom and his behavior in a little bit. Before we get into that, I just want to go over the lie because she goes into that story after this bit. So let's have a look. Okay, yes, I lied to you. I, I did lie to you. <sighs> he was gonna come here. We decided after that I was gonna go there and then I think he heard me say on the live stream that I don't want him here because it's like our safe space. So maybe he like, I don't know, like he watches my streams. So he called me right after I ended the stream and he said, I said, I'm coming. He said, no, I wanna go to your house. Like I'm sick of being at my place. I should have said no. My mood was starting to change as I was driving there. My mood was starting to change. Even he was like, why are you so bitchy? I just felt like he was lying to me about something earlier. I'm really sorry I lied to you guys, uh, guys about that. Something so stupid and small, I guess. But I was gonna go to his place. So I guess I didn't really, did I even lie about that? So then what happened was I went to pick him up and the cat hair really bugs him, he knows. That. So I picked him up and I was sober, pick him up, driving back. And he said, well, why don't you drop me, drop me off at my friend's, it's on the way to your house which it's not, it sorta is, but not really. He's like, you can clean the cat hair until, you know, and then my friend will drop me off back at your house. So that's what I heard, that's, you know, because now he's changing it and saying that's not what he said, he misunderstood it. So that that pissed me off too. So I'm already like, let's adding a layer of, this is why, I wanna know why I'm done, this is why. This is like adding to the annoyance. Like, you know how I am and I'm in like a fragile state of mind already, like, with everything that's gone on like and just everything like grief and just being fucking bitchy and he's like why are you being like that because i'm being crabby i'm like okay well where's your friend live you know like how i am when i'm bitchy so i wanted to say i don't feel like cleaning you know but i did text him that after so anyway i drop him at his friends so i come home take mushrooms take edibles because he's supposed to get a ride here i go live so i'm like do i have time for a quick live because i'm addicted to live streaming so that's when i do my live stream he's like i'm outside so I go all the way down. That's when I ended my thing. I open the door, nothing. He, he videos me and I knew in the background he's not outside of my fucking complex because he's in some kind of like, he's in like, I could see it was like a bad area and I'm just like, haha. Uh -huh. I, and I knew, I knew, I knew this would happen. On the way home, when I dropped him, I said, he's not gonna have a ride. Imagine that would happen. It did. So that, I'm just over it. He called, he's like, oh, I misunderstood, baby. So I'm like, uh-huh. I had edibles. I had mushrooms waiting for you. I can't drive. See you later, Ella fucking gator. You think I'm stupid? So that's why I left him in the street. That's why I'm a little scared because I left him in the street. <laughs> well, he doesn't, he doesn't have my address, but like he's been here. So Dom was gaslighting her. No, I didn't say that. I know what you heard, but you weren't correct. I'm outside waiting for you. You're going to pick me up. Everybody in Chantal's audience knows how gaslighting feels because she does it to us all the time. Funny how she doesn't like it so much on the other side. But yeah, he was gaslighting her. She is mad. I, was, I can believe she was not in the right mood to be seeing him when she went. I was a little surprised that she decided to go, to be honest. Again, maybe she was just searching for that level of normality. Maybe she was hoping to feel better. But it seemed a bit odd that she was going. Um, she does go a little bit into lie justification in a moment, so we will look at that set of clips. Notice how she did say, hang on, no, that did happen, so did I really lie? Yeah, honey, you really lied. You, you really, really lied. You made it seem like you were unable to function in life behind the wheel of a car, which is not clearly not what happened. But let's go into the next set of clips and we'll go into it. Oh no, I don't want to piss him off more. Anyways, what do you want to talk about? I mean, I thought I loved him, like, really bad. I did. But I don't know. And I think I just still harbor a lot of resentment from our fight. Like, I have a lot of resentment. And I can't get over it. And I told him that, and I poured my heart out about it. He said nothing. Like, so are you coming over? But I will admit that he does have a right to be mad. Like, I really feel bad that I, like, dog he's doxxed and everything and <clears throat> because it's because of me and I just feel responsible like I have to make up for that like I should like give him money or something for ruining his life so did you lie earlier about the 
memory loss while you were driving? No. So what happened with that was when I dropped him off, I dropped him off and then I had to put my GPS on to get, like, I didn't know where his friend lived. Like, I didn't know that area. So I used my GPS to go back home. But then, like, when I got to a familiar area, I turned my GPS off. And then what happened was, I don't know how, but be, the next time I took notice was, like, I noticed I was, like, back in towards where his, he he lived, not towards my house. And I'm like, wait, did I, I did that automatically because I know the route, but I'm just like, what? This is scary. Like, I need to be at home. I don't need to be driving right now. So here the truth comes out. What actually happened was she took him to this shady place, didn't know how to get out. So she put on her GPS, got to an area she was familiar with. And then because her mind was on Dom and the fact that she was already going to his place before, she was not really thinking an autopilot into going to his house and doesn't realize till later which is a far less alarming set of circumstances than what she presented in her previous live. In her previous version of this, she left her house, couldn't remember how to get to his house and had to come home. Clearly those two things are very, very different. And one of them is going to concern your audience a lot more, which is why you told it. I found the money conversation very interesting. The way uh, she was saying, oh, I feel like I doxed him, therefore I ruined his life. It seems like he ruined his own life long before he met you, but she did make it a lot more visible and it was a terrible thing to do, but therefore I owe him money. And I, hmm, I don't feel like she would have gotten to that thought naturally herself. She doesn't seem the kind of person that considers other pe the impact she has on other people that closely to go, oh no, I should pay him something. That seems like something he has planted, he has pushed on her and he has maintained. Hence her paying his rent, hence her giving him a lot of other things. So she did wrong and she owes him. And I can see very much how he would manipulate that situation to the hilt. So very revealing, I thought. Now, she gave a lot of attitude earlier. See you later, alligator and all that. And, but she keeps going back to, oh, I, I, don't, I don't want to get into trouble. And um, we do get a lot more talk about Dom, about some of the things he said. Some of it is quite alarming. And um, frankly, I'm surprised they haven't come up before. And I'm surprised she's not a thousand miles away from him right now. So just be warned that that's coming up in the next clip. I will, Marissa. Anyways, why am I doing this right now? I'm going to get my mouth is going to get me into a lot of trouble. He said something really scary one time. He said, call the cops. Because I like threatened the cops before. He's like, call the cops. I have time to kill you before they get here. And he's right. No, Curly. He actually blames me for like when he's mean to me. <laughs> so we can hold you accountable. Guys, this is really serious stuff. Like I can't really just like... It would really probably really, really, really trigger him like really bad i've just i've heard him say really scary things that are just very like dark and i'm just like so now i'm a little like like for, you know i just i don't know blue super you will be back live tomorrow trying your hardest to convince everyone what a great caring guy dom is roll eyes <laughs> well i hope not no i won't be no i'm not gonna say oh, i hope not no i'm not gonna be no, I've seriously had enough of this. I've just like, Liliana, what did you say? I like how you put it. Um, you're just done. I'm just done. I'm Stop with the drugs. I might need them a little longer. Just the like legal, just the, well, natural stuff. There's not enough information out there. Technically it's not, like there's no legal clause saying how many hours you should wait before ingesting a certain amount of edibles before driving or whatever but like with what happened tonight i don't know if it was just stress or being distressed because i was 100 percent sober so maybe it just there's like long-term psychological effects of ingesting like large large quantities of the edibles or something you know what i mean C talking to her for like an hour and 20 minutes um, on the phone, just listening to her, just 
that's just the vibe I get from her. And yes, I get really bad vibes from him too, and that's why, see you later. I can't ignore it anymore, you know? Um, a lot of it was, I felt guilty. Like, I feel, and even now I feel guilty leaving him in the street. Like, I'm like, Pete's like, should I call him a taxi? <laughs> like, send him in a taxi home. It's gonna be like 60 bucks. Well, if you want to say that she was right about him in a lot of ways, yes, she was. In a lot of ways, yeah. Um, but things that, even if you tell me, I'm not, I mean, for you, I guarantee if you continue to take edibles and mushrooms, I'm going Weed Witch, I think I'm starting to think that too, though, that I think I'm going to have to, like, just cut it out. Cold turkey. Into, like, I'm so absorbed by my YouTube world. It's like, my real life just feels like so different but I can just escape into this one you know no his ex isn't alive to tell what really happened no if he killed somebody he would be in prison I'm not gonna tell you guys all his charges and everything that's why I can't talk about it it's not my business she's saying that the Delphine woman is not the one the stabbing victim and that is the one who got stabbed, but this Delphine woman died in 2019 of supposed natural causes. I don't know. He was like in prison in 2019 saying it's self-defense. Don't be scared for my life. I don't, I don't, I don't be scared. Move to Toronto. Yeah, I want to move. Yeah, thanks foodie flasher. Yeah, I don't know why I got myself mixed up in this shit. I just wanted, like, some fun, you know? Some friggin' sexy time. Not this crap. I don't know Liliana. I know he's taken, like, pictures of my boobs. And he has, like, all these, like, pictures of, like, screenshots and stuff. I don't know. There was a lot. There was a lot in that set of clips. I realized it was a lot. Um, so we come in with the beginning of this live saying, I need a safe word. I need to be able to tell you guys if something is happening, I'll say it three times. And then we start with talk that she's had with Dom where she's threatened to call the police and he's been like, do it. I've got time to kill you before they get here. Excuse me, excuse me, what the hell? I, I'm not entirely sure even what to say to that other than fucking run. Run out of there. Get dogs, get something. Um, she does make several mentions of how mad he's gonna be that she's talking about it. Like it's really gonna trigger him. She's scared. He's been to my house. He doesn't have my address, but he's been to my house. Uh, right at the end, she's like, oh yeah, my doors are locked. And this was a really long live stream. I don't know if she was maybe just concerned about getting offline because offline there's no proof. I don't, I don't know, but I really don't like that as a situation, which makes her attitude. She starts like with saying, yeah, my mouth's going to get me in trouble because that thing she says about YouTube not being real cuts both ways. In one sense, it's an escape, but in the other, when she says shit online, it does sometimes have real world consequences. And that's a fact that she doesn't always grasp in her head. So her being very cocky, as she calls it, and being like, fuck you and see you later alligator. And I hid my wallet. Oh, I don't know if we actually got into that clip just yet, but we are, <laughs> that was a whole thing as well. Um, but all of that, if he shows up, she's fucked. We know he's got a criminal record. We know he's been violent before. That talk about, I didn't follow this whole thing with this. I know something to do with the stabbing and him, which was alarming. Um, but she mentioned a little bit there with the conversation she'd had with French fried girl. And um, he was in prison in 2019 for something self-defense. And I'm like, I'm, murder, maiming, what? Something violent, clearly. Like, that would be enough for me, thank you. But she's still like, oh yeah, self-defense, because she still believes what he's saying inexplicably, I don't know. But 
Okay, so you've got a man clearly capable of doing harm to the point where he was in prison. So when you're sitting there going, oh, if he'd done something, he'd be in jail. Dude, he was in jail. In jail for, it would seem, a violent crime. But what crime that is, I don't know. So <laughs> I'd be a little less confident with that and I'd shut up online, Jesus. I'm not saying that I want her to hide this. I wanted to get out of it. But she's clearly just endangering herself with the way she's doing this. And even throughout this, I decided not to pull out all these clips and have another section. But she does a lot of, I'm not going back. The, the chat asks her four or five times, are you going back to him? And she goes, no, absolutely not. I'm not going back. But she juxtapositions that with, I don't want to tell you that because, you know, he might be in danger. And she, she's talking about like protecting him in a lot of ways and not wanting to talk because, you know, it might inconvenience him. And she dumps him at the side of the road and then is like, oh, I should get him a taxi. And at the end of that clip, she's like, oh, he's got pictures of my boobs. And like, she flashes herself a lot online, but it's very different when someone else has got control over it. And just, we know he's got pictures of other people because he shared, he's shared random like dick pics and stuff with her. How does she know that he's not doing that with her pictures with somebody else? The fact is she doesn't. What makes you think that he, you know, he does these kinds of things, but he wouldn't do it to you? I, that is a confidence I don't think he deserves. So this next clip, uh, parts of it were happening kind of concurrently with the last one because I just wanted to separate the talking points. But if you all remember when she discovered that she, he was sending other people dick pics and she lost her damn mind on stream, very similar energy. It turns out he had been messaging somebody who came into a chat and was like, I've been messaging with him, I'm gonna send you the screenshots and things kicked off. So this is the last set of clips I have for this and uh, God knows how long this video is gonna be, but let's get through it. Dom has been video messing me all night, I finally answered. Oh, really, Curly? When was that? No, seriously. Okay, send them, I wanna see. No, seriously, I wanna see. He's in the street, how can he be naked right now? I don't understand. He literally just called me on messenger like 10 minutes ago <laughs> like literally yeah li curly but there's no okay there's no he's not naked in it but there's no shirt on so why is there no shirt on and no he's a total scumbag she sent me two screen she sent me the screenshots but maybe he like i don't know anyway maybe he knows that somebody's gonna message him well Whenever I confronted him about the messaging other girls, he said that he likes to play with people. It's not serious. I sent him the screenshot, and I'm like, what the fuck? You're sick. I'm like, fuck you. You have more pics of him video chatting? Yeah, but is it, like, sexual stuff for real? Like, recently? I need all the proof. I need all the proof. What is wrong with me? Do you know what I did for this fucking scumbag? Let's daydream about my future plans. That I almost ruined my fucking life for what? What did I like? Really? Like what the fuck? Oh my god! I want to throw up. Expose him. I feel seriously feel like telling my story. I want to tell him off though. I want to call him and be like, "Why the fuck are you messaging? Why were you what? I paid his rent, but only once." Like it for July, I paid July and then I didn't pay August or September. I think he expects me to pay and I'm on. I said my wallet went missing. It's in my room. I, I, okay. I had to lie to you about the wallet. I had to make it public. Ah, <sighs> sorry about that. Cause he watches, I'm smart. I'm fucking smarter than you. Actually, no, I better not, I better not do this because he can show up here. For real, like, he's scared, like, I'm scared of him. Like, actually, Curly, I'm really glad you sent me that because, yeah, I can talk a big game and be like, oh, I'm not in a relationship, but you guys know I'm fucking jealous. I'm just coming to, like, realization of stuff, guys. So if I seem like, no, nobody has a house key, no. Should you really be greening out right now? Yes, I need to, I need to pass out. I can't handle this stress right now. You're going to be like a new woman once you get rid of him. Tell me all the good things that will happen if I do, guys. Please tell me. I want to call him right now and tell him off. Face to face. I want to see where he is. I want to see what the background is. 
Oh, that's already long done, Phallic. <laughs> what an idiot! Like, like, why would he mess? Like, does he not know that I'm a public figure? People are obviously gonna message me screenshots of him being a douchebag. Cancel the phone? Yeah, Melissa, I think that's gonna happen too. I want to call right now and see what this excuse is. I think I need to call him. I need an answer. Or no, should I just not? I need to know. I'm not a member and he called me. I got screenshots. Everyone send me your screenshots of the dirtiest things he's done. <laughs> Make me stay away. Oh my god. I'm so glad I hid my wallet. I'm so glad I lost my wallet. Janice, Botel Hill. Make me stay away. You should want to stay away. You're not done. I do want to, Janice, but the more angry I get, the more I look at these things and face them instead of just looking away from them. Like, no, I don't want to see. The more it helps. It was just recently that I was pulling away and setting up more boundaries and like just wanting to be friends with benefits but it was like more serious than that for a long time you know like you just lied like everything's a lie i don't want to talk about him anymore because i don't want him to be mad like he tried calling me around like not long after that in messenger but not since then and i messaged him and told him off and i'm now i'm done Okay, related again back to some of the stuff in the previous set of clips. She says he likes to play with people. I don't understand why she thinks that won't apply to her. He's got intimate photos of you and he likes to play games. Do you think that's going to end well? Do you? Because I, I don't think it's going to end well. I think you are one of the people he's playing with. And I think he's done it before. I think he's doing it with multiple people. And I think he'll do it again because that's just the kind of guy he is. So this all um, went, went on. And she's obviously angry. And she's like, all the stuff I did for him and the complete scumbag. We have seen this before when she blew up about the dick pics. It's just another version of that. So is it going to end the same way? It's, are they going to end up reconciling? She's adamant they're not, but she was adamant last time and she made a fool of herself. And maybe she's going to do it again. With all the talk going on tonight, I'd be very concerned about his response to this live stream. She does say, maybe I should private this, but at the time that I got it, I downloaded it and it was still there. Don't know if that's still the case. I've been working on this for a while. Um, she's super proud of the fact that she hid her wallet and again, oh no, sorry, lied to you again. Yeah, no, but you know, I'm so smart. I had to put it out there in the world so he would think it was true, but you're not smart enough to keep quiet about it when you're angry. So I'm sure that's not going to come back to haunt you. I'm actually, I'm saying this and I'm being quite, quite sarcastic, but if this is as bad as it sounds, she doesn't seem, she's saying she's scared, she's saying she needs a safe word, but she doesn't seem to understand that she could literally have to bear the brunt of this. And I, I just want her to contact authorities and report him. Like, I, I want her to report what happened when he hit her. I want her to, um, like, go get the live stream she's privated. I just want someone official to know this so that if, or God forbid, when this happens, there is proof and she can go with it but right now my god she does talk a big game she really wants to call him and tell him off she mentions that a few times and again just like when she drove over there to, she was gonna go tell him off she's a really big talker until the moment it happens so she's angry right now and it's making her forget herself it's making her forget these things that she's saying about how she's being scared um she does say as well doesn't he know he's dumb? Doesn't he know people will message me? I'm like, yeah. You said yourself earlier in this live stream, he's likely to be doing it on purpose because he knows people will message you because he wants to get in contact with you. Last time she was like, I'm going to leave him. And then she was like, oh, he's like a snake charmer. I can't resist. He knows damn well he can do what he needs to do when she is physically talking to him. And so the whole point of this, just get through 
to her, get her talking to him, and then he doesn't have to worry about it. Because if she's convinced, he's fine. And if she's not, he's physically there. And that puts her in a much more dangerous scenario. Um, let me think. All right, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, this was awful. It was a lot of content, but between my sarcasm about all of this, I'm a lot more worried about her physical safety than I have even been before. And I've been fairly concerned about it. But her anger, her big mouth, she's sitting there going, I'm so smart, but he watches my live streams. She has naturally got a very big self-destructive streak. Everything that she's been through the last few days is only going to serve to make emotions more extreme and that's not gonna be helpful to her, which is why you're seeing this extreme fear, this extreme defiance, and I don't think it's going to end well. So we'll see what her next live stream says. We'll see what happens. I don't think she's gonna stay away from him. I, I just don't. I think she didn't seem massively convinced during this live stream, which is why people kept asking. And I just, with everything else, I think she'd rather be dead than alone. And that's what it comes down to. So I, I don't see her letting this go, but I think if she doesn't and she goes back to him, there are gonna be consequences for what she's said. That's all I got, you guys. This was a lot. I'm gonna try and pull it all together. I hope everyone is well, I hope everybody is safe, and I will see you next time.